Hey guys, Patrick here, and welcome to another video from Window Tinting Business. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I was removing and replacing vinyl lettering on a business storefront. It's a little bit different than what we normally do, kind of related within the window tinting business. It's just another way that you could get a little bit of extra cash, uh, maybe diversify the business a little bit, not just have window tinting, but have other services available as well. Okay. Sometimes To get started, I'm going to go ahead and wet down the surface area that I'm working with. I'm going to be taking out a one inch razor blade and I'm just going to be scraping off any of the old vinyl that might be stuck on the glass. Once I get the lettering off, I'm going to go ahead and spray the glass down again and I'm just going to go ahead and scrape the entire area and making sure I get all the old adhesive or any other bits of rock or anything that might be stuck on the glass. Next I'm going to do an additional cleaning with a scrub pad just to make sure that I'm getting a really clean surface. I'm going to go ahead and squeegee this off. At this point, I'm just wiping up any excess water. I'm making it dry for my install because we're going to be doing a dry install. Next step, I'm going to go ahead and place the decal on the glass and put it where I want to measure either the sides or from top to bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and anchor the center with a strip of tape. And then I'm going to tape off the other side as well, just one side. That way that I know half of it's not going to move. I'm going to be working on the right side first. So I'm going to start to go ahead and peel off the backing paper. That's the uh, transfer paper. The vinyl should stick to the transfer. So go slowly. That way it is actually sticking to the transfer tape and not staying on the, uh, the backing paper. At this point, I'll go ahead and take my knife and cut the backing paper off in a way. And the sticker is not going to move because of the anchor points with the tape. So at this point what I'm going to do is slowly start to squeegee on the vinyl sticker from the center going out. Nice and even strokes. Just taking my time and making sure that vinyl stays nice and flat. Now once I have that side done, at this point I can go ahead and give it a good squeegee, make sure it's all down nice and hard, and I can go ahead and take the tape off, because now the sticker is not going to move because it's already stuck on the one side. And all we have to do from here is we're going to go ahead and peel the backing paper off and making sure that the vinyl sticks to the transfer tape. So at this point you still just want to kind of take your time taking the backing paper off to make sure that 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 the stickers do come off and stay on the transfer tape. That's the most important thing. From here, we'll just squeegee from the center going out and that's gonna make for a very nice and clean install. I want to give it one more good hard squeegee. I'm going to go ahead and pick a corner and start peeling it off slowly. 
but I'm going to bring it down at kind of like a almost a 45 degree angle and I'm keeping it flat against the, the glass as I'm peeling and I'm just going to be this is me taking off the transfer tape leaving the vinyl sticker behind you want to make sure that this you're taking your time when you're peeling this to make sure that the stickers are not staying on the transfer tape but staying on the glass itself Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. As always, I hope it was helpful and informative. If you're not a subscriber, make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell notification if you want to be notified whenever we go live or update new videos. Again, as always, I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.